Hello reviewers, um, my name's Dean. Some of you may have encountered me. <laughs> we had a conversation on Friday. Uh, for those who unfortunately couldn't participate, um, I'm Dean. So I'm going to be your support guide here through the review process and we'll start by just making a video to recap what we did in the session on Friday. And for those that couldn't make it, this is what we did on Friday. So, notesmaster.com. The web address is old dot notesmaster dot com okay so www dot old dot notesmaster dot com that's the important point if you just type in notesmaster dot com you get the new platform which looks like this and is very different <laughs> okay so we're not using this we will launch the program with this platform um, which is a, a new platform but for the purpose of this program and the review we're using this platform which is the older platform so you sign up you click sign up in this case uh, select Caribbean and in this case location Belize and then select your school pick a school and then put your email so okay put your your email address and your password okay make sure you write these down and remember them if you forget them don't worry we'll be able to let you know and reset them choose a user type so you're an educator a teacher in service or administrator whichever is appropriate mail add your name my name is Dean and now in picking your subject here they run into each other a little bit, but in picking your subject, this will give you a copy of the syllabus. So if I pick Belize Life Skills, and then if I go to CSEC and pick Belize English Standards, I will get a copy of this syllabus in my workspace. Okay, The syllabus won't contain any content as yet, but I'll have a copy of it. So select the subject you're reviewing, and then click I'm not a robot, and then click Submit. That should then register you on the platform. You should see Welcome to Nodes Master, and you should see your name top right here. Okay, that's what you should see. If you have any internet challenges, um, you see this kind of, you know, you might not see your name there, but hopefully you should see your name there. And this little onboarding just lets you know what the platform does. You can create notes, you can find notes, and you can join a group. What we want to do is join a group. We want to join the program group. Click join a group. And then you're going to click find. And the page will load. And you're going to scroll down, not this COVID-19 support group for Belize. We're looking for, keep scrolling, the Ministry of Education, Youth, Sports and Culture, OER Aptus group. It asks me to join the group. I click join group. You get a little disclaimer about the group, you can have a read of it, and then click agree and join. And there, I'm in the group. Once you're in the group, you go to shared resources, shared resources, and then you find the subject you're reviewing. In this case, say I'm reviewing uh, Belize English Standards. Click on it once to open the syllabus and show you the units, topics, or objectives. There's a lot of content in them, so it takes a moment, you know, give it five, ten seconds to open the syllabus. And as we see, there's lots of content here. Okay, almost 600 notes here. So click on the first form once, and then these are the standards within the first form. Click on that, and these are the specific objectives within the standards. And under the specific objective is where you find the note. So you click on the note to open it. This is the author, Francilia Chi. Click on the note, it opens. Give it a moment to open. As we highlighted in the workshop, if you click on note and it opens blank, give it a moment, five, 10 seconds to load up. Okay, give it a moment to load up. You're pulling in a video from YouTube, an image from another website maybe, a slide share from slide share. So these all need to be loaded up onto the page. Okay. 
If it's blank, just refresh the page. And part of your review process is, of course, checking that the text makes sense. Uh, this, the images are relevant, so you know there's good pedagogy and this image contributes, means something, you could put it that way. And that the images are legible. So here is a nice image added of a flamingo and it relates to the above topic. For example, there's a passage about flamingos. However, can you read the passage? So my eyes, my, my monitor-worn eyes, <laughs> I can get monitors every day for a very long time, but I can just about. Flamingos are found around the world from the Caribbean. But in truth, it could be, could be sharper, could be, could be clearer. So if you struggle to read it, make a note of that. Color chicks born gray or white. So this all could be sharper. This could happen, this blurriness, because maybe the original file was a smaller file and the user has added it and then dragged to increase the, the height or the size. And that caused a degree of blurriness. So from this side here, you want to check the text, watch the video, make sure the video is relevant. Um, and I'm not sure if this causes in your reviewing point, but a call to action. So here we just have a slide share. Maybe we could say, um, now click the link to look at the slide share below. Something like that, you know, dragging um, the user with you, a call to action along the page to say, yes, here's a slide share, click the white triangles to move through the presentation. Or maybe if it's pages two to eight that are relevant, then view the presentation two to eight. And similarly, quiz. We have quiz here. It would be nice if it said, now try the quiz. Now take a look at the quiz. Click on the link to take the quiz. Things like, things like that. Um, these huge errors here where they go off the page, that's just because you've got very long links here. So in the instructional design process that finalizes the content, we'll update that. So don't worry about the reference area. All notes should, of course, be referenced. So if the references are missing from the bottom, um, in your form or your review form, that should go in to add a reference. Okay, so this note has a video in it. If I click off the note, which is what you do, you see there's an online version, and then there's an Aptus version, which we know because it says Aptus in it. Now in some Aptus versions, remember we looked at videos that were Creative Commons on YouTube, in some Aptus notes, the video is removed. So you need to ensure the pedagogy of the note remains. So this video, watch the video clip below to help you understand the concept. That's a good little prompt. Notice we don't have the slide share presentation anymore. So does the pedagogy of the note remain? Are all the concepts relating to extracting specific information still covered with the slide share component removed? So the aptus, to remind you, is the Wi-Fi device router that allows you to browse content loaded to it without internet. Um, so external links don't always work. That's why on the aptus version, you shouldn't see any click here to take a quiz because the quiz is an external link that takes you to another website. You shouldn't have that in the aptus version. In this context then, does the value of this note retain um, its utility to the student in covering this content and uh, this topic, sorry. Um, so are we dealing with the note that is as valuable and useful in the Aptus guise as it is in the online guise? Now in general, the Aptus note will have less about it because Aptus, in fairness, it has limitations. We can't link on uh, to external websites um, and you sort of shoehorn to certain Creative Commons videos. So it is okay to a certain extent if the Aptus note is less engaging than the online note, but the user in terms of the, the student should still be able to understand the topic from the Aptus note. So last thing to reference here is, you see we have um, our flamingo image, smaller this time. So I am maybe struggling to see, I can just about, flamingos are found around the world. But I am currently on a large device with a big monitor, 24 inch monitor. So it's big for me. Can I read this if I'm viewing it on a smartphone or a 10 inch, 11 inch tablet? Is it still viewable? Maybe I can zoom in. Um, not the best user experience, but those are things if you can just about make it out. 
height I'm struggling. Legs up to 30, 50 inches long, longer than its entire body. Huh, I can just about read that, but not pleasant. Okay, um, so you'll be reviewing those things, I guess, as well as the pedagogy and the content and the nature of the um, content and how that works in terms of uh, covering the topic. So if I close that off, and then we have a quiz. Click on the quiz once, and it'll open. Quiz is a multiple choice. You'll see the quiz open like this. And then you need to click Take Test. Take the test, and the quiz will open. What is scanning? And you take the test, click, and it tells you well done. So check that they've actually selected the right answer, because sometimes they may put in the question and click the wrong answer. Um, check the presentation. I suppose that's more our job, the presentation. But so long as you can read everything um, and that it makes sense. And you've got different styles. You get a little score at the end. OK, so that's how you would review the quiz. Check everything's in play, that the correct answers are selected, and that the actual quiz makes sense. So the quiz should test them on the content in their notes here. So that's a Belize English standard, but I'll just jump, let's say, to a, a Spanish note to give you another example. Click on it, the page will open up. And again, I'll just randomly click somewhere. Functions and notes. Holiday greetings. Could do with a holiday. So let's go holiday greetings. Click on holiday greetings, Florentina Sanchez. Okay, introduction. And draw it up. Okay, so here's her note. Can have a look and judge. See if you're happy with it, if it makes sense. And a little cartoon from Pixton. So Florentina, if I click on this, um, Florentina has allowed, as we, we provided some of the teachers with, uh, we sponsored basically software, Pixton was one of them, for teachers to create interactive content and um, cartoons. So Pixton was a cartoon that they used, pixton.com, and then they embedded it into this page here. Okay, Aptus version, if we go to the Aptus version of this note, what do we see? Click on it, just wait a moment, you only click once on the note, so let it let it load up for you. Remember it's loading things from different areas. Okay, pretty similar. Okay, we seem to have a bigger Pixton here. So maybe the Pixton needed to be added further in the other note, I'm not sure, I'm not a Spanish speaker, but um, that may be something to note. Slightly blurry, but I can I can make it out. Okay, all right. So same review process. So if I just jump back here to see if we should have had um, something a bit bigger, maybe if I click on this link, do I get the full beans version? Okay, I get the full version if I click on the link here. So this is the Pixton website, okay, that it was created on, um, and then we should have a quiz. Okay, because of four to five questions, take the test, um, see, give it a moment to load up, everything sort of loads up, images flashing, pulling from different areas. Oh, in this case, she's gone to town, she's got ten, ten questions here. Take the test, um, so in whatever review sheet you would put in, um, you know, highlight, so this is a fill in the blank test, so somebody would you would type your answer. Some quizzes, the, S, the, the answers, I'm just typing at random, don't worry. Select answer there, and then go to next. Okay, that's a tough answer to type. Um, so whether you think a student would get that, they need to get it exactly like that and fill in the blank. So some of the questions, you get answers straight away. Others, you get the answer at the end. So it could be a timed test where they've timed you five minutes to do all of that. You, you do ten questions in five minutes and you get the answers at the end. Or in this case, one answer at a time. Okay. Okay, so that's basically how you get on. Um, I'm sure Dr. Samuels has guided you on how to access the content um, in terms of what you're looking for, in terms of your review sheets. When you leave and when you come back in, if you go to a different page, remember workspace is your personal space. So I selected at the start of the process when I registered um, Billy's English. You can close this off here and life skills. So these are in my workspace. You notice the Belize English syllabus in the group had hundreds of notes in. My syllabus does not contain any notes. So the purpose of the program are for persons to 
register on the platform, join the group, take content from the group and add it to their syllabus here. You'll see CXE here because Notesmaster is co-owned by CXE. CXE own 10% of Notesmaster, so uh, they bought into the platform uh, 10 years ago or 8 years ago, I think. Um, and you'll see if you go into the group, two things. The first thing you'll see is you don't need to go and find your group again. It's already here. Once you've joined the group, it'll appear on your page as you click groups. And when you go into the group, you remember. Um, and here you go. Okay. So that's a good summary, I think, of, of what you need to do to help you get started. If you have any questions or challenges or the platform's not working, um, then please feel free to reach out to the group. Um, post a question for me. One important point to, to highlight, um, you're not editing any content. So, you know, the syllabus takes a moment to open up. We're rolling 173, 123, 113. So, you're doing over 400 notes for integrated science here. So when you open them up, it'll take a little moment to load up everything. You don't need to add anything to your workspace or anything like that, or copy anything. Scene is a useful tool. So once you've reviewed a note, if you just click Scene and close off the note, you see that it'll, give it a moment, the page will update itself and you see the Scene icon will come here. So if I go away, and I come back and I want to see what I've done next time. When I scroll through the syllabus, I'll say, ah, right, I've seen this note. I don't need to, you know. So it'll keep track of your progress as you go, okay? And when you log out, the scenes all stay here. So they don't disappear when you log out. So you don't need to write the name and tick off anything like that. The system will track what you have reviewed. Okay, all right, I didn't want to make this too lengthy a video, but I think that gives you a good introduction. Um, and the group. In the group, they're the members. These are the participants who wrote the content. Shows how much notes each participant created. Okay, and get to the bottom. It's called lazy loading. Just scroll your mouse, and it'll load the next set of of teachers. Okay, thanks for watching. Any questions? Reach out to me in the WhatsApp group. Thank you.